Hey everyone, trying out a new setup for my camera, so sorry, no special background or anything like that. But uh, today we're going to be talking about Team Redminer, and they actually put out a new version, 0.8.3, just like five days ago as of recording this video. And it adds a lot more functionality when it comes to dual mining with uh, Zillica or Zill. Before, it used to only be for Ethereum, that's it. They've also added now Ergo, Ravencoin, and Verthash. So we're going to try two out of those three, Ergo and Raven today. And they've also simplified the way that you get yourself into dual mining with them from the command line perspective. So first off, you can see right here, they've added the Auto Lycos 2 algorithm for Ergo. This is their first bit for, Al for Ergo. They just added it. So that's cool. I like it. So I was using, I think, Nano Miner before. I did get probably like an extra two or three mega hash throughout the whole setup I have for my, was it, 480, 470s, 1570, a couple 460s. I got a few extra mega hash around the board. So it was great. It worked out nicely. But the big thing also, too, is Team Red Miner, their dev fee for Auto Lycos 2 or Ergo is only 2%. The other one, uh, who the heck was it? It was Nano Miner wanted two and a half percent, and SRB Miner, which kind of ran a little slow for me, was also two percent. So it's a win-win if you have AMD cards to mine Ergo with the new version of Team Red Miner, and it actually works with Zillica. So let's jump over to Hive OS, and we're going to go to Carol first, and right now you can see we are running the Ergo plus Zill Team Red Miner flight sheet. Uh, let's take a look at that flight sheet right now. So if we look at the flight sheet for this, it's a pretty generic flight sheet. I mean, it has my Ergo address for wallet. It, I mine the Hero Miners for Ergo, so it's just a regular server address for that. Even this part of the Team Red Miner is perfectly fine. It's just the user config. Now, for some reason, since they just added Ergo, my RX 560 that shows up as a 460 runs perfectly fine on any other Ergo algorithm. So I ended up talking to the uh, devs over on their Discord channel. And we found out that since this is their first implementation, that single card was taking an extra like half a second longer than what the watchdog wanted. So I thought the card was dead. But as soon as we disabled the watchdog, the card's perfectly fine. So it's a little bug. They're working on it, and they're, they've already told me it's going to be fixed in the next release, which for them usually comes out like once a week. In the meantime, I just run the watchdog disabled, and it works fine. You most likely do not need this little add-on piece right here. The actual Zillica add-on is now just this one line, and let me actually edit it. It makes it a little easier to see. So you got the double dash Zill dash O, Stratum plus TCP, and I'm using the US East server for Zill, easel.me, uh, dash U, and there's, this um, address is a three-parter. You have your Ethereum address, a dot, your Zillica address, then another dot, and then your worker name, such as, this is my rig name, Carol. So, dash P, password, it's just an X. And then it ends with a double dash zill underscore end. And that tells Team Red Miner that you want to dual mine. Ergo with Zillica, and that's how you set it up. And it's running perfectly fine. Now, if I shoot over real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OT watch. And this is the actual Team Red Miner display. And you can see here. Right now, Auto Lycos 2, we are mining on all five of my cards for 256 mega hash. And you can see down here for the easels, all of them are set. They're ready. They're just paused because it's not one of the times. Remember, easel only processes for about 90 seconds every 90 minutes. So it is ready to roll. And you can see it's constantly polling the easel server to see if it's time to do some work with them or not. And if so, it will pause the Auto Lycos, go over to 
easel, which is ET hash, but it's a very small DAG file size. So that's why I can still do this perfectly fine on four gigabyte files. Um, Team Red Miner also loads both DAG files onto the memory, even on a four gig card at the same time for Ergo. So the switch over time is absolutely minimal. You don't have to waste 10, 15 seconds rebuilding the DAG file when you keep switching algorithms. Okay, so that wraps up the flight sheet for Ergo and Zillica on Team Red Miner. Now, the great thing is, if we go on over to Raven, which is right down here, I already have that one made up as well. If you look at it, it's practically the same. It's my Ravencoin address, my Ravencoin server that I mine to, which is Flypool. Um, all this is normal, perfectly normal. And again, I didn't need the watchdog disabled on this part for some reason. Um, but there's a double dash. It, I literally just copied this. It's, once you have it set up, you just need to copy it to what other algorithm you want. And the last one I want to show you is Team Red Miner doing Ethereum and Zillica. And it's a lot more simplified as well. Now, the flight sheet on my Marvell rig, which has all my 8 gig cards on it, uh, regular wallet address for Ethereum. I mine directly to Hive on and this part's normal. And I literally just copied over the double dash zil, all the information in between, and the double dash zil end. Simple as that. And if we look at the shell information for this, wait for it to scroll over here again real quick, but you can see it's bouncing back and forth and getting information from both pools. There we go. And you can see it. there's all eight of my cards. Here they are hashing for ET hash or Ethereum right now. And all eight for the easel are paused because it's not time for it yet. Now, the only problem that they have right now with, it's not even really a problem, it's more of a display issue when it comes to Team Red Miner and their dual mining, is it doesn't show up the second information down here for easel, like uh, Nano Miner or SRB Miner will show. And... I talked to the devs as well yesterday when we were trying to figure out the um, dead GPU on my 4K rig and end up being just a watchdog. They are planning on implementing something like that in the future. So this way it can actually display it up here. But at the same time, it some work has to be done by the uh, Hive OS team. So both sides need to work on it. It's only a minor problem, honestly. All you have to do is shoot on over and you can see it working and you can still see it. And the other thing is, there's something up, I haven't talked to the devs about this yet, there's something up with the reporting on the easel.me website. It's not showing the reported hash rate, but if you check each one afterwards, you can still see the work being done. So the reporting is not perfect yet, but don't worry, you're still getting paid. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Down below, I'm going to leave a link for the Team Red Miner Discord in case you have more questions about this. Also, below that, I will have one for the Misfit Mining Discord. I am part of the moderators on that group, so you can ask me for more help regarding questions on this or other general mining, plus everyone else there. There's plenty of people there that are willing to help you. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. It helps the algorithm, just like everyone else says. And I will see you next video.